Hi, my name is Sherbrand Jashan, and I'm on Philadelphia's chapter board. Um, this week's Parsha is Parsha Chai Sarah, and in the Parsha, we talk about Sarah's life, her death, and Avraham. So when we think of Avraham, we normally think about his 10 tests that he had. Um, and there was a huge debate whether the last test was Akira Yitzchak or burying his wife Sarah. I'm going to go with the approach that his last test was burying his wife Sarah. Um, okay, so... Well, in the beginning we uh, of, of the of parsha, <laughs> sorry, um, we see we see Abraham um, trying to buy a plot of land from Ephron to bury his wife in. Um, this uh, like it, it's it's a good story, but we're kind of like okay, you know what? So um, the midrash in Bereshit Rabbah um, talks about uh, it refers to a verse in Mishle to try to explain the reason why um, it's mentioned here why is this important like you know why is it even said here who cares um, and it mentions Mishle Chaf Aleph Chaf Aleph that says Rodev Tzedaka V'chesed Yim Tzachayim Tzedaka V'kabod one who pursues justice and kindness will find life justice and honor so um Abraham's kindness was burying his wife. Abraham went out of his way to bury his his wife, even after you know it was insane how he had to take his newborn son, who, who he just 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 was told that he like his son's gonna be his heir. He's gonna have multiply and have all of Bnei Israel are gonna come from his son, and he goes to kill him, and he comes back, and his wife is dead. So this in itself is like insane how he was able to deal with this, but his kindness was burying his wife. So. The question naturally arises, why is this more special than any other thing he did? If you really think of Avraham, a few uh, a few prakim ago, we're, we're just hearing about how he saved Lo from destruction, how he went to and destroyed Sodom for Hashem, how he invited guests over after he had surgery, how he did so much other acts of kindness to other people. We know him as a person who always had hachanasat orchim, who always did so much, so much good. So why is this that he's burying his wife, why is that a better chesed than anything else he's done? So Chazal say that the reason it's more important is because it's not an expected act of kindness. So normally people are, they're willing to go above and beyond and do so much more than they have to do for our community, for people that we don't really know, for people that, you know, like he did for Saddam, we do for a bunch of organizations. But really, um, we don't we don't do as much chesed for people who we know, like our friends, our family, strangers, like like maybe the homeless person, maybe a friend that you know who needs to talk a little bit, who needs a little bit of help. We don't we don't really consider these things. So the midrash says that his acts of chesed were so important because he um, he pursued justice with others, um, just as much as he pursued them with you know with with communities. So the fact that he you know he they're they're not saying that because. He, you shouldn't help other communities. Of course, they're saying this. This, this act was no. You know, those are no less um, significant than what he's doing with his wife. But really, we should be focusing and also helping people that we know. So our lesson that we can get from this is that reach out to someone new. See, see if someone's in need of help. A friend, a family member. You know, don't don't just think of, of people that you don't really know. Whereas try to. Talk to a friend and see if they really need help and go out of your way to help them and do some chesed.